Hey guys, so um, part two, to be honest, this one's more of a really sort of a show, more of a show of the tank, what I've tweaked, what I've changed. Um, thank you for all the support on part one. Um, I've had a lot of good feedback. There's a few questions I'm going to quickly answer throughout while showing other pieces. Um, but there were some questions that people have asked, so I will um, I will answer those. But main thing is I'm going to show you what I did, why I've done it, and then we'll go from there. Right, so next step was I added some more moss to this section here, as you can see. reason I did that was because I just had some in the garden. All this moss has literally just come straight from my garden. You can get moss anywhere. You don't have to go into your garden. You can go for a small walk into the woods and get some there, but just don't take too much. Um, but either way, you can take as much as you need. Um, it's more because some people shout at you if you're taking too much moss or too much stuff from nature. Um, so I tweaked that. I edited the waterfall slightly. Reason I did what I've done is because I um, ended up having to take things out. Now, as I've mentioned, I took out the pump. Um, the reason I took out the pump was because I then thought to myself, oh, there's no wire. There is a wire. What I meant was there's no wire protected. So I had the steel mesh to the wire. And then basically I just wrapped it in um, uh, the meth that... Membrane, Jesus, membrane, membrane. So I added it with the membrane. Um, so first was the steel mesh that I added to uh, my cover, obviously, which I'm using for like that hole in the lid, which is this here. Uh, it's like a hundred micron mesh. So I added that to the pieces of wood. I also, what I had spare, I wrapped around it the wire, uh, zip tied it in as tight as I could, and then wrapped more membrane around so I could attach moss to it so it's not visible. But either way, it's hid. As you can see down here, it's hidden. So um, it does go to there. Now, if you zoom in, you can see that steel and that um, sort of membrane around it, just to that point there. But the reason I left it like that is because I know the plants are going to grow up anyway. And um, that just comes out the corner of the lid, which I've stuffed with cotton wool. Um, now, I've noticed there's a lot of evaporation from this. Um, what I did yesterday was I added three, another extra layer. There was already two layers of uh, pond liner to that plant pot, like I say. Um, so I added an extra layer. Um, so there's now three layers of pond line it and hope that it's it, it, it's not that. I don't think it's a leak. I think because it's just a fast flow and um, there's only, like I say, 20 litres. So I think it's going to be going down significantly anyway. The water is now clear. I am going to be doing a few water changes in this. Um, I'm going to leave this running for a few weeks before I even think about putting anything in it. Um, just because I want it to be established first. I don't want any die-offs and all that sort of stuff. Um, everything else lo is looking awesome got some sort of tufts, tufts of grass um, I took from the garden whilst I was getting the moss and things which I've put in between rocks which I actually really really like too and um, a few leaves I cut down so I could also add um, sorry get the uh, Fetonia um, visibly showing more light on them and then that the leaves to be honest I just left around laying around as like decoration because I actually quite like them um, but yeah all the other plants they're looking awesome I've noticed there's some condensation on that drainage layer here so if you guys can see that there's a little bit of condensation but i'm not worried about it because when the room heats up uh, i've just come home and i've turned the heating on when the room heats up that'll disappear and i can visibly see how much water is actually sat in there because i don't want too much to be sat in there now because it's obviously a 240 liter tank i mean even if it was up then few centimeters you're talking sort of 10 uh, no about 20 liters of water it'd have to have so i'm not worried about it i'm not worried i just have to keep an eye on it basically Thing I did acrylic lid so I still actually need to finish this off as I mentioned so I actually just cut a hole in the acrylic lid um, which is obviously the lights near there as you can see um, now that was a little bit difficult I need to uh, finish these edges sand them off um, sand them down and then in the corner I cut a hole for the wire now what happened is I was initially going to put that wire through that hole and hot glue it in but ran into problems as the wire didn't have the type of wire where you can literally take off the back of it and then just rewire it on. So I've unscrew it, put it through and rescrew it. It was a complete full unit. So I ended up having to cut the back of that acrylic. And then as you can see, I've just put some cotton wool there for now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some frog tape over that. There's a small lapse in this lid. It's a bit of a shame, really. It's where they've cut the the sort of silicon seal then it's just off by a couple mil there that gap so what i'll have to do is i'll have to take that off uh, sorry take that off um is put something in between that layer i was thinking maybe it's like some frog tape just just there it's only there that's the only place there and there because obviously it sits on that slight 
that height that's a little bit more than the rest so anyway um anyway it's all good so um that's the only issue i have um i'm going to corner that off corner that off with the uh, frog tape frog tape and then this here i have that mesh grill again i need to sand this down hence why i haven't really put it on yet i put some little feet on it um reason being is because i can then sit it on but then i thought ah if it's adding a barrier or it, as a second barrier then i should probably have this completely flat so i've just ordered some double-sided uh, magnetic um tape like side a and b which i'll attach to it and take the legs off and then i can just sort of stick it on and it'll obviously the suction of it will attach to the magnets and then it, it'll basically be safe for the for the ants um, i'm still going to add an ant barrier around this lid anyway despite all of it being cornered off reason being is i just want to be safe i don't want to wake up in the morning and uh, the better half's being carried carried down the stairs into the tank by um, a colony of uh, european fire ants so um that's that first thing i want to do when i get the ants and put them in and this may sound bizarre is and yes i want to let them sting me because i'll be honest i'm scared i'm scared to get stung and I thought to myself, the best way to do it, get stung straight away, see how it feels. If you don't like it, just make sure you don't let it happen again. If it's okay, then I don't have to worry about maintenance and put my hand in and out and things like that. So we'll see. But my first thing as well is um, when they do arrive is I'm going to uh, keep them away for a few days because they'll be in transport. The last thing I want to do is like a few days transportation or one or two days in the mail. And then all of a sudden um, I open the box and bang straight into, a, you know, into um, <clears throat> the setup. And I don't want to stress them out because they've already, they'll probably already be stressed because they've had a journey. Um, so I, I'm not going to do that. One question for you fans. Um, now the level of evaporation from this, I noticed yesterday it was actually on that liner. So touching the rock there. Um, now it's evaporated that much. Like I say, it was about 20 litres. So you're talking a good litre there, evaporation in a day. And I thought to myself, why is it evaporating so much? So if you if you know, or is that if that's normal, then let me know. I have a twenty five liter shrimp aquarium, which you know it it, it does mist up. Uh, sorry, it does mist up. It does evaporate, but I don't know if it evaporates this quick. So any any advice on that would be would be awesome. Um, but yeah, the final thing I actually need help with is humidity. Now, this rain is always showing ninety nine percent. I've been off today, um, sorry, at, at work today, I've come home, turned the heating on, so it did drop to about 19, as you can see, it's going up, but it's always showing 99%. Now, this lid's off at the moment. I was just wiping the glass. It's been off now for about 15 minutes, and it still hasn't, or well, in theory, hasn't got rid of moisture. I don't know how accurate you know, they, they are. Um, some people say just ignore them because they're not actually that good. Some people say just use it by your eye, look at it touch the soil see if it feels wet as you would you know your plant pot you know, that type of thing now when i touch here my indication is when i touch if it feels damp and then there's um as you can see soil on my finger there to me that's okay so i'll leave that um but if the soil doesn't stick to my finger then that's that's they need to water they need spraying down um and that's always been my theory with anything i don't know what what you guys use or how you sort of do it but that's always been what I've done. Touch the soil. If it sticks to my finger, um, it's fine. If it doesn't, then it needs watering. Um, <clears throat> other things is, but no, sorry, other things. That's just it. Just humidity. Please help me out with that, guys. Like I say, 99%. Uh, the temperature, as you can see, it's gone up since. But humidity, exactly the same. It might be because of this water feature. I'm not too sure. Um, but uh, either way, just let me know, guys. Any advice would be massively, massively appreciated. Um, thank you. If there's anything you want me to change in this, let me know. Now this, I did leave blank or this sort of area because I, this is where I'll be feeding the ants. Um, so it's sort of in, in view there. I want to keep it away from the water. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to poke some holes in the back over this section because I don't want them ideally nesting here, which I think they will do. So <laughs> I'm going to put as many holes in this section as I can to encourage them to go this side for now. But either way, they'll end up coming across into these parts anyway. Um, so regardless, I don't think I can sort of control that, to be honest, because it, it is going to be what it is. So...
again part two so i hope you guys have enjoyed the video and part one please leave a like subscribe let people know about me when i'm building loads more things to come i'm going to do another video soon to just show you roughly how i built my um, waterfall bowl aquarium um, and that one i'll be uploading alongside part two um maybe sunday and, and then the one next week and then the unboxing of the colony um, i'll leave them for a few days and then obviously the introduction to this which will be part three which will be the final part when i actually physically put the ants in finally um so I'm, I'm really excited about this guys and i hope you have liked it and took some things away from it i'm in chill mode now in my dressing gown long days at work um hence why i'm sometimes i film in a random suit but uh, that's about it as always stay blessed peace and love i'm out